What's up guys, Justin here with the realtimeessentials.com. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through creating a level inside of Unity. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I'm gonna be doing more like material tutorials and particle tutorials, and I'm gonna build a level where I can like, th that's more than just being in like a 3D space in Unity. I want it to be, I want it to kind of feel like an actual level and a space for doing that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by creating a new project. Now I have an older version of the Unity Hub. You may have like version 3.0. They're all going to look fairly similar, but basically what you're going to look for is you're going to look for projects and we're going to add a new project. So for me, I'm just going to click on new right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a new project. And so in this case, we're just going to set our location and I'm just going to name this um, showcase room or something like that. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and set this as a universal render pipeline. So um, I don't think it really matters for the particles, but uh, we're gonna go with that for right now. So we're gonna pick universal render pipeline. We're gonna click on create. So when we create that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a new project that we can use in order to put our uh, material preview level inside. All right, so now what we wanna do, because we've got our project created in here, is let's go ahead and let's create a new scene. So I'm just gonna go to file, new scene. We'll just go with a basic built in right here. And so what I want to do is I want to use a built in tool inside of Unity called Pro Builder. And so to do that, you're just going to go to Window, Package Manager, and inside of your Package Manager, you want to go to Packages, Unity Registry right here. And you want to scroll down and you want to find the option for Pro Builder right here. And you just want to click on the option for install. You may have to download this. I can't remember. Um, for this though, we're just going to do an install right here. So what this is going to do is this is going to import a tool set that's going to allow you to quickly create a level inside of Unity. All right, so that has now enabled the Pro Builder tool set. You can access it by going up to Tools, Pro Builder. Notice how there are options in here, but I want to open the Pro Builder window. What the Pro Builder window is going to do is it's going to give me a list of uh, different uh, tools that I can use in order to create things in Unity. Now yours may look something like this if you're in icon mode. Um, I usually put it in text mode just because I don't know what the icons mean just by looking at them. Um, text mode, I can really just tell what they are. But what we want to do is we want to start by creating a shape. So we're just going to click the plus button right here. This is going to allow us to add a shape. And in this situation, we want to add a plane. So our plane is going to be our floor right here. All right, so this is going to allow us to adjust the size of the plane in here like this. So notice how basically each one of these squares on here is one meter. And so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and set my length to something like, we'll call it 30 meters. Actually, maybe I'll set my width to 30 meters. I'm going to set my length to maybe like, uh, we'll say 15 meters, like this. So I want this to be kind of like a longer corridor type situation right here. So we're going to go ahead and set this with 30 and 15. We're going to click on build. And so when I click on build, what that's going to do is that's going to create this plane inside of Unity. And usually what I do is I like to reset this so that it goes to 0, 0, 0 in my 3D space. You definitely don't have to do that, but um, I usually like to do that. And so now what we've got is we've got a simple plane in here. Well, now I want to add a couple walls, right? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the plus button again, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to generate, uh, we're going to call this a cube right here. And so the cube is going to allow us to set a wall, right? So, or create a wall. And so the way that I want to do that is notice how I can click and drag this in order to see which one, um, what each one of these affects. Um, for this one, for example, I'm going to go ahead and set my overall length to, we're going to call it 30. I'm going to set my Z value to, we'll call it maybe like 0.25, something like this. And we're going to go ahead and click on build. And then once I click on build, again, I'm gonna reset this um, because this just kind of places this off in space. But notice how when I reset this, it puts it pretty close to where we want it to be. And so first thing for me is we've created this a little bit tall. So I don't necessarily want this to be this tall. Um, one thing that I do find helpful sometimes is sometimes I'll add a shape in here with a height that I recognize. So let's say for example, that I wanted a cube that was just like three feet by three feet by three feet. I might just create a cube that just has a one by one by one, and that's gonna make it a meter generally. But then I can take that cube, which got created right here, and I'm going to reset that. And I just want it to be kind of sitting in my scene so that I kind of like recognize 
the height that's in here. So that's gonna be about three feet high, right? And so what I want is I've made this a little bit tall. This is just for a visual reference. And so what I've done is I've made this a little bit tall and I kinda wanna make it shorter. Well, you can adjust this by clicking on your object and with Pro Builder Active, notice how you get these different tools in here. Well, one of the tools that you have in here is face selection. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this top face and I'm gonna bring it down a little bit like this. So I want this to have kind of a shorter height in here like this. And you can actually see how tall this is right here. So notice how when I adjust this, this is getting adjusted over here. So I can see how tall this is. So in this case, 3.3 meters ought to be just fine. But what I want to do now is I want to create kind of an overhang in here. And so we can create an overhang just kind of the same way that we did before. So we're just going to create a new cube. Uh, we're going to call it 30. And we're going to set the Y value in this case to something like 0.33. And then we're going to set our Z value to, we're going to say this is about a three meter overhang right here. And we're going to build this. And so when I build this, I can just uh, take it again, reset the position. Whoops. And I'm going to go back into object select mode. I just want to take the whole thing. I just want to set it so that it overhangs right here. And so I'm just going to align this overhang right here so that it kind of aligns with my wall. So then I'm just going to add another wall in here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a control D to duplicate this object. Then I'm just going to move this object up right here. So I'm going to align it with the edge of my wall. I'm going to move it up right here. So now I've got this kind of like taller wall over here. Well, then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this again. I'm going to do a control D. I'm going to move that duplicate over here and align it with the edge. And for this one, we're just going to make it a little bit taller, right? So I'm just going to come in here, select this face, and just drag it up so it's about the same height as my other wall over here. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of creating this space in here with kind of an overhang that we can uh, work with our particles in. And then I also want to create a wall on the end over here. And I want to use that in order to kind of block off the back. So I'm just going to create a new shape. And in this case, we're going to set our width to like 15 meters. And our X value on this one will be like 0.33. And then we're going to set our height to, we'll call it 15 meters for right now. So we're just going to use the build function in order to create that. We'll go ahead and we'll put it in place. Whoops. Make sure we're in object select mode before we do that. So that's going to fill in this whole backside. And then we can also come in here and just make it shorter just by selecting this top face right here in Pro Builder and bringing it down like this. So now we've got our general shape created and we need to add some materials. All right, so we're going to go get two materials. So I'm going to go get a couple materials from Poly Haven. So I'm going to get this kind of like formed concrete in here for my walls. And then I'm going to download this concrete floor for my floor. So we're going to download both of those materials. And we're going to bring them into Unity to use on our walls and floor. So what we need to do is we need to bring those files in so they actually live inside of our space or inside of our uh, project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my assets folder. And within assets, I have a folder in here for materials. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a folder for maps. So I'm going to call this maps right here. And when those are done downloading, we're going to bring those in and we're going to place them in the maps folder. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create materials for them. So I'm going to go in here and do a create material right here. And we're going to call this concrete walls. We're going to create another material and we're going to call it concrete floors. All right, so once you get those files downloaded, what you wanna do is you wanna extract them. Um, so just right click and do an extract. And those are going to have the material maps in here, right? So you can see these different material maps in here for the diffuse, the displacement, all of that. But we wanna drag those into Unity. So we're gonna jump back into Unity and I'm gonna drag those into the maps folder that I just created. So I'm just gonna take those and I'm going to drag them into this folder, right? That's gonna add them to your project. So we're going to do the same thing with our concrete floor, and we're going to drag those in as well. And basically what we need to do is we need to set up a material with these uh, maps associated with them. So we've created our materials, but what we need to do now is we need to actually associate the maps with them, right? So we're going to open up our concrete floor material right here. Well, we just need to set up these maps. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a specular workflow. 
And so notice how I can click on these little buttons right here in order to see the different materials that are inside of my uh, inside of my project. So notice how there's a bunch of other materials in here as well. But you can either do that and pick them from the list, or you can also go into the maps folder and drag them in. So for our concrete floors, for example, we're going to take the diffuse map and drag it into the base map slot right here. We're going to take the concrete floor normal map, we're going to drag it into the normal map slot right here. Note that it tells us this isn't marked as a normal map. I'm going to go ahead and click on the fix button in order to fix that. So we can go ahead and put the height map in here. Um, I'm not ultra worried about that for what we're doing right here, but we can do it. So we'll make these a little bit bigger. And then I'll just drag the displacement map into the height map right here. We're not going to worry too much about that one for right now. But now we've kind of created this material and what we want to do is we want to apply it to this object. And so we can either do that just by dragging the material onto the object from this folder or within Pro Builder, there's also an option in here for a material editor that you can use. You can click on this and you can bring those different materials in to this list to apply them quickly. So in this case, for example, we could take that concrete floor material and just apply it to our list. Well now with the selected, I can just type Alt 2 and notice how it's gonna apply that concrete material to my floor right here. So we can do the same thing with our concrete walls material, which we haven't finished yet, but we can put that concrete walls material in here and then we can do an Alt 3 to switch to that material. So Alt 2, Alt 3, it basically lets you use the keyboard in order to quickly set these up. But I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna set up my concrete walls material real quick and then we'll apply it to our walls. And so we've got this pretty close. Now what we're gonna do is we're just going to select our walls by doing a shift click right here. Well, we can use the material editor in order to quickly apply materials to all of those walls by typing Alt-3 on our keyboard. So notice how now those have been applied to the walls and I wanna go ahead and I wanna adjust that material just a little bit. All right, so the only other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust our tiling just a little bit. So these are a little bit, uh, we'll call it bigger. So uh, if we were to do that, we could set this to like 0.75 and 0.75 like this in order to give us that concrete look. Um, that's probably way too big actually. So I might put that at like 1.5 and 1.5. Now that is a little repeating. So I might actually swap out another texture for this really quick that doesn't repeat quite so much. All right, so I've created this gray plaster material and we'll just apply that to these walls really quickly. So we'll just add it to our material editor right here. We'll just do an Alt-4 in order to add that to our walls. Now again, we've got some tiling going on so we can adjust that size, right? So we can do like a 0.5 and a 0.5, something like this. So I think that gets us fairly close to what we're looking for right here. So now what we've got is we've got a space in here where we can uh, kind of test out some different particle systems some different lighting systems, other things like that. And so just to give you kind of an idea of what we're going for, the whole point of this is we wanted to create a level that's going to kind of like showcase the lighting of like a particle system or point lights or other things like that. So I wanted kind of the overhang in here so you can see what the light's going to do, what the materials are going to do, other things like that. We might also add lights in here to shine off of materials. We might add a roof to this, but this is just kind of roughing out the level that we're going to use so that we can kind of show what these other things are going to be able to do in Unity. So that's a basic quick way to kind of like fill out a scene with a level inside of Unity. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. We're going to use this space for taking a look at different materials and testing particles and other things like that. So I wanted to walk you through how I created the space. But again, leave a comment if you have any questions. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.